You pulling, you pulling straps? You pulling hey, straps? Property, it won't even fit on the screen. It won't even fit. I can't on... even see your face. Give him a kiss on the beat. Put the finger in the butt. So I literally turned down the news station because they wanted to like post up at this dude's house and uh, do a report and try and like get this guy. But that's not my goal here. You know, I just want people to be aware of what's going on. I'm not reporting him to the cops. You know, I just I want to find another way to make him aware that that's not specifically his property so that maybe he understands why there's people going back there fishing. But I'm not trying to go after people to try and ruin their lives, get them put in jail or nothing like that. All right. Now, if it continues and he threatens more people, whatever. We already know the situation and we can go after him, but that's not my intent here. So, uh, so yeah, check out the clip. We're going. You pulling, you pulling straps? You pulling straps? Mm. Oh, so you're going to shoot, you going to shoot me because I'm, because I'm fishing? You going to shoot me? You going to shoot me because I'm fishing? We just told you that we were getting out of here, bro. And then you go cocking straps. We just told you we're getting, pull the trigger if you, if you, if you feel that strong about it. All right, guys, let me just give you a quick little backstory to this. Um, basically, this spot is somewhere in Cutler Ridge or Cutler Bay that I've been fishing since I was like five years old. I used to go there with my best friend, Toby, and we would catch like peacock bass and carp and stuff like that. So the other day, we went out there. I took my buddy Todd um, and his wife. Uh, they're actually from out of state. They came They came to Miami to catch some peacock bass. So I, I, I know that this spot's been hitting pretty good, and we decided to go over there. Um, as you can see, you know, you can see the fence line and where the property uh, boundary is um, From that point in to where the canal is is a public easement. So like I said, I've been fishing there since I was a kid uh, This particular gentleman, I guess he's a new owner over there. He's under the impression that that's his private property oh, bugs are biting me and uh, Apparently he got pretty angry, you know angry enough to pull a gun on us. So we're fishing He's saying something from the other side of the fence. So like, you know, we don't want to deal with this. So uh, it's like, all right, man, we're gonna get out of here. But Todd had a fish on the line, so he has to reel in the fish before we can leave. You can see in the video right here where he's just finishing landing the fish, and uh, this guy opens the fence, clack, clack, and proceeds to uh, threaten us with a gun. Todd is a traveling preacher, so for him to have a gun pulled on him while he travels preaching for the church, you know, I just, that, that was crazy, but big shout out to him. I just want people who live in Cutler Bay to know that uh, there is someone out there that is threatening people in this area. And uh, just make sure your kids and stuff know to uh, be careful. Because I know a lot of kids fish this spot. Like I said, I've been doing it since I was a kid. And it's a well-known spot for, for fishing for those of us who live here. And uh, it's more not to get this dude in trouble as much as just awareness that you always got to be you know cautious of your environment and who's around you um and that's it guys you see me at bass from spinning them racks i be ripping them lips like i'm ripping on the track when i'm on that water i slay to the max slay to the max guys i'm back a million subscribers i'm stacking them black Woo! hop on the slay life we fish in the flats we ripping them snook and we catching them jacks got drag on the track ceo got my back yeah you know the camera's attached we going viral you ain't gotta ask we gonna keep slaying while y'all talking trash get ready by that slay life get ready by that slay life All right, we got the GoPro nut mount. <laughs> Just gonna drop bait into the pipe here. Well, actually, I gotta whip it in there. Do a better job. Oh, there we go. That was the cast right there. Got him. Got him. Come on. You were getting that one shiner and you you called it. Right, you're a legend. Let me get this crotch mount. Oh bro, you sit bro. I can't believe you did that. And that's a bro, that's the biggest fish of the day. Brian, the CEO right here, look, on, on his back, bro. He caught the biggest fish of the day. I told bro, let's land him on this thing. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, bro, this video is going to go viral. This video is going to go viral. Got him. Got him. Yeah, fix, fix that anime here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, looks good.
Let me see sunlight. Let me see. Sunlight. Right. Sunlight. That's Stand it. Up on the rod. Good That's job. it. Tickle the belly. Tickle the belly. Oh, put put a finger there. in the butt. Oh. Put a finger in the butt. I'm a fluffer. You know you gotta put the finger in the butt. What's it called, yeah. fluffer? Fluffer, yeah. Now you gotta fluff it. Like a lot of people don't know how to put the finger in the butt. So it just go. Makes this perfect little spot to hold it. Set it right there. Belly. Bomb. Wow, look at this big fish, guys. Not too shabby. That, hey, that was a good one. Good, good fight. Happy. I always catch one in the pipe. I like to stick it down the hole and work it out. You're you're good at piping things. I am. I used to be a plumber. He's good with that pipe. Pipe game, what? Strong. Strong. Like, Show us the arms. Oh, oh. What's up guys, it's time to announce the winner from the last trivia question and also the winner of the lures from Real Time Baits. Um, and this is brought to you by DB Tires down in Homestead. So if you're in the Miami area, South Florida area and you need some new tires or used tires or whatever, go ahead and hit up DB Tires down in Homestead and uh, David will hook you up, man. So the winner of the shout out and the lures is Chums YT, congrats, you got all the questions right. So uh, hit me up, let me know how to get these things to you. And uh, guys, there's another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah, it's just you. a little hurt. Oh, bro, Chris, why, why are you catching everything but, you're catching everything but a fish, bro. Okay. Surgery. Yeah. All right, buddy, you're, it'll come out. Dang. It'll come out. Dang, Chris. It's got these little hooks, so that's good. There you go. Nice. Right. See, just like right, that, buddy? Brian. You right. saved him. You better give him a kiss. Give yeah. him a kiss. No, no, no. Come give on. him a you kiss. Heard him. You heard you him. You heard him. No, no, no. Give him a kiss. No, no, no. For real. No, 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 no. No, no. He got to give him a kiss, bro. Give him a kiss, bro. For real, for real. Give him a kiss on the beat. Crotch cam. Engage. Right here. We'll lift it up a little higher. Cause I always forget my chest mount. Whew. All right, guys. Anytime you hear me say crotch mount, it's because I have one of these, and uh, I just shove it down in my pants, and uh, that's kind of how I film. You know, Mike's over here, pointing over there. Someone's over here, pointing over there. But yeah, just kind of reel down low like this because uh, I always forget my chest mount and stuff. There we go. Let's see if I can wipe some of this rain off. It is absolutely pouring out here. Crazy. I'm out here some trees right now. Whoa! What was that? That was huge. Okay, Mike's on. I'm coming. Ah! They're out here. Oh, I'm on, Brian. Are you on? Mike's on. There it is. Guys. This is the way I fish because in this weather, that's how you're supposed to fish, if that makes any sense. You, you lay on the ground so you don't slide in because the crocs are slippery. No grip. Yeah, no grip. Got these three years ago, still fits though. So I'm here working my lure along the edge and a big fish just swipes at my lure but doesn't quite get it. And then Mike starts screaming out, Brian, I'm on, I'm on. So what do I have to do? I gotta run across the street with the camera to go film Mike catching a fish. I get over there, he didn't even have a fish on. He, he actually lost the fish. But I told him how I just missed a hookup on a big fish. And what does this guy do? He runs across the street, drops the line in, and hooks the fish that I was about to catch. Yeah. I told you there was one here. You guys made me run over there. Ryan! Ryan, you're hiding! Ryan! Ryan, this is not even the biggest one. But it oh, is! Bro, bro, bro! Did you see that? I see it. Bro, the way he's flipping? Bro, did you see that one? I saw that one. You got to tie your amount, guys, because... It's a good size fish. Man, he's you think I could flip him? He's thick. Yeah, right there. That's the biggest one. This is the biggest one yet, I think? Yeah. 
guys. Now, see, this in this episode, we're not playing around. We're, yeah, this is a monster, Chris. About six, seven, eight. About six, it won't even fit on the screen. It won't even I fit. I can't on, even see your face. We'll back it up a little bit so you can see that I caught it. Okay, there you go. Guys, this is easily well over like seven, eight pounds, but we're gonna get a bigger one right now. <laughs> All right, guys, it's trivia time. This is your chance to win a shout out in my next episode. All you have to do is answer these questions and comment the answers below. Trivia question number one. In my last video, what fishing rod was I using? Trivia question number two. What did Chris fish his hook that I had to help him get off the hook? Trivia question number three. What do I call the GoPro when I stick it in my pants? Guys, comment the answers below and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. Guys, again, thank you for watching the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. Guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. With a passion, they say I be swagging it, slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.